Let's take a look at nutrients, part one nutrients. So organism need food to provide energy for essential activities of the body, facilitate cell division, and also maintain health. Nutrition here means something that you feed on. Huh? So what's the purpose of feeding? These are the purpose of feeding. Okay, the nutrients in foods and their function, there are seven types of nutrients. Seven types of nutrients here. We can see seven types of nutrients. Nutrients one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven types of nutrients. Okay, we can classify them into their respective group. Over here, this group require digestion. This group will be absorbed. Group four, six, and seven is a type of group where the nutrients are not digested because they are small enough to be absorbed. There's no need to break them down into smaller pieces anymore. They are small enough to pass through the partially permeable membrane. And of course, they will be absorbed. Group 5 here, the dietary fiber or roughage, is not digested. We don't have the right enzyme to digest it. And hence, it is too large, we cannot absorb. So there's no absorption. Okay, so we split them into the major group 1, major group 2, and major group 3. Okay, let's take a look at the functions of each and every nutrient. Carbohydrate is there to provide energy. It's actually the primary source of energy. Fats is a form of energy storage or secondary source of energy. So it is there to act as insulator to reduce heat loss. It is there, it is found underneath our skin so that it will prevent heat loss. Protein is there to grow new cells and repair damaged cells. It's there to form enzymes and also hormones. Vitamins. So basically vitamins is there to maintain health. Mineral salts is there to maintain health as well. Okay. So uh, normally they will ask for two examples of vitamins. I will recommend that you use vitamin C and also vitamin D. Why? Vitamin C can be obtained from oranges. Vitamin D can be obtained from egg yolk. Okay. Deficiency, that means lack of vitamin C, will result in scurvy. Scurvy. V Y. Okay, scurvy. Then a lack of vitamin D will result in deformed bones and also teeth. Very easy. Remember these two. Vitamin C and vitamin D. Mineral salts. Let's go to mineral salts first. Here, mineral salts. We will also make use of two. Remember two. The first one is iron. The second one is calcium. You can get iron from... You can get it from basically liver. Basically, when you consume chicken, you can ask for chicken's liver. Or when you, when you consume pork, you can ask for pig's liver. Or cow's liver, all this is full of iron. Calcium, you can get it from milk. Deficiency in iron will cause anemia, lack of red blood cell. Okay, let me... 
rewrite this anemia okay lack of calcium same as vitamin D okay deform bones and teeth so you don't really need to remember that much this thing here is the same as vitamin D okay next let's take a look at water so basically this three group is small enough to be absorbed so in other words they are able to be absorbed readily okay water Water is an important component of cells, so of course it's acting as solvent for enzymes, food waste, so that all of them can be transported around the body. So these are the function of water. So uh, lack of water will result in dehydration. Lah. Okay, dehydration. Okay, that's all.